All right, guys, we are back here at the collection room, and I want to show you guys a little bit of the changes that I made in here, uh, mainly over here. So uh, this table used to be there. I used to have like a little workstation there, but I didn't honestly really use it too much. So I decided to get rid of it. I needed more shelf space to put stuff up. So I moved all my Ninja Turtle stuff over here. And then this is kind of like pop culture, things I grew up watching, uh, Dick Tracy, Goosebumps, stuff like that. And then uh, I have this over here, my Detolf. I got Hair Jordan over here. And then right over here, I got some sports, sports stuff. It's random sports stuff here that was on different shelves. But uh, yeah, so that's a new little area in here. And then uh, that basically, had me be able to use that for a table here and then it um, helps me clean up this area here and then open up a couple of shelves over here so this will be all open that 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 um, I'm still got to rearrange some more things here I, I removed a bunch of stuff up there and then over here I have a bunch of space too because this is where the Ninja Turtle stuff used to be so now I have a lot of room in here as well so just making some updates trying to to uh create a little bit more space so things kind of flow more smoothly in here but uh i'm gonna start digging through some of these cards right over here and i'm gonna let you know what i find i got a lot of cards to go through guys a ton a ton this thing is full so uh let's start digging all right, here we go. First pile of cards I want to showcase. Hit a little bit of a jackpot with these David Robinson rookies. You got one, two, three, four, a little bit slippery, and five. Five David Robinson rookies. Then on their narrate there, we have his teammate, Tim Duncan, rookie. We have an Edron James Sage rookie Donovan McNabb Sage rookie we have a Rafael Palmero tops finest Orlando Hernandez we have a David Justice tops finest <clears throat> excuse me a JT Snow baseball's finest tops finest we have an Alex Rodriguez upper deck Ionics Ken Griffey Jr. Ionics Derek Jeter, Ionics, a Dwight Gooden, rookie, a Ken Griffey Jr., 91, post-collector series card. I always love these cards. I know they're not really that valuable, but they're just really cool cards. Uh, and last but not least, we have a Starflix Ken Griffey Jr. Always cool to find these kind of 3D cards. So there's a little pile. I'm going to keep on digging. All right, find a nice little stack of vintage baseball cards. Kicking it off right here, Mickey Stanley. Now remember guys, uh, this is before my time, so if there's any notable players, notable cards that you notice out of the ones I'm about to show you, please leave a comment below. Let me know, because it's happened before in previous videos where I skipped through cards, I didn't realize it was worth much, and it ended up being a pretty valuable card. So please, if you know more about vintage baseball cards than I do, please let me know in the comments. Thank you. All right, kicking it off, Mickey Stanley. I feel like that name sounds familiar. Um, Sammy Ellis. Ken Boyer. Rick uh, Richard. Fred Valentine. We have a, let's see this one right here. We have a 1967 rookie star, Sal Bando and R shorts have a Calvin Kuntz, a Mickey Rivers, and last but not least, I know this guy right here, a Willie Randolph's R Willie Randolph Tops All Star Rookie. Pretty cool. All right, there's a little bit of vintage baseball. Nice, keeping it keeping it fresh, not knowing what what's coming out of this box. All right, let's keep digging. All right, guys, if you guys watch previous videos of mine, you will know this, uh, whether it's baseball, football, basketball, or even hockey, Fleer Metal Universe cards are one of my, if not my favorite sets of all time. 
This is the cards of my childhood. Uh, such cool design, so cool growing up to collect these, but kind of hit a little mini jackpot here, finding all these. So here we go, kicking it off with Ray Lewis, Reggie White, Shannon Sharp, oh, skipped one, Steve McNair, like just look at the artwork on that, that's, dude, that's awesome. Steve Young, Terrell Davis, Terrell Owens, it's like, the, dude, like, at that time, this artwork just like blew you out of the water. Uh, we have Troy Aikman, John Elway, another Troy Aikman, another Steve McNair, another Steve Young, you got Curtis Martin. Curtis Martin number two. Curtis Martin number three. We got Keyshawn Johnson. That's cool artwork there. There you go. One of the coolest ones, in my opinion, is this Barry Sanders right here. That is a great Barry Sanders card. He always looks good on Fleer Metal Universe cards, even the Marvel ones. Super, super cool design. Very happy about that. We got Keyshawn Johnson again. There. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. Two Barry Sanders. Very happy about it. And this one's a really cool one too. Deion Sanders. This is a really nice one too. Going back to back Deion's. We got Mr. Emmett Smith. Very cool. And going back to back Emmett Smith. We got Eddie George. Just makes the players look so cool with this artwork. We have Cordell Stewart. And last but not least, a pretty good last one. We got Mr. Jerry Rice. So there, for anybody who's watched previous videos, like I said, one of my favorite sets of all time. So super happy about finding all these Fleer Metal Universe cards. Especially football. Like for me, it would if I had to rank, I would say uh, football would be my favorite, basketball, then baseball, then hockey. So I was super happy about this. All right, guys, here is the final showcase here. These are some of the best cards I found digging through. I probably dug through, I would say about like 5,000, 6,000 cards, maybe a little over 6,000 cards. Uh, and this is some of the best stuff. I found a bunch of other stuff, and I've you know, in previous videos I showed you a lot of the stuff I keep, but for me to show you everything that I find, it would be crazy long video. But here we go. First off, card that I don't really come across too often, and that's why I wanted to put it here at the end. Super cool Shaquille O'Neal insert plus factor Fleer tradition. Super nice. Always love Shaq cards. Underneath there, we have John Elway. Such a cool, like this, this, this style, the whole design of these, these, this year of uh, Topps cards is great. Then we have Warren Moon. Very nice and great condition, too. We have some hockey here. We have a first round draft choice. Yamir Yager. Look how young he looks there. It's crazy. And then we have a little bit beat up. Definitely not in the best of shapes. The RCS corners are pretty rough. Willie McCovey. You know, just because it was a McCovey card, I, I saved it for the end here. And then look at this thing. <sighs> you want to talk about a printing error? Look at this. Willie Mays. Totally misprint. Now, I, I know that sometimes uh, error cards and misprint cards have some value to them. So let me know uh, if you guys think that this would have some kind of value because of it being... Because, I mean, it's misprinted, but you can see the full image of him minus the little top of the bat there. Um, so it's definitely misprinted big time, but not misprinted to the point where the card's like unrecognizable 
so uh yeah let me know if if anybody knows about misprints or anything like this that would be worth money because uh i don't even know how i would look this up there you go willie mays oh they're neat there one of my favorites of all time kobe bryant fleer 97 98 very cool card and we have Mr. Deion Sanders, Topps Super Rookie. Always cool to see him in his Atlanta Falcons jersey. One of the greatest of all time. Underneath there, we got a nice Michael Jordan Point Man insert. Super nice. Like I, the, the way he's uh, standing in this one is pretty cool because usually you see him dunking, shooting. So this one's a little bit different of a of a stance for him. That's pretty cool. Underneath there we have another Michael Jordan insert. This one's Crunchers. Very very cool. And last but not least, this is super awesome for me. An Allen Iverson tops Atomic, I believe, refractor is what they call it super super cool year on it 1997 super awesome Allen Iverson atomic refractor see I believe it's an atomic refractor correct me if I'm wrong but super super look at this look at the shine on it like during that time when you found cards like this it was just like blew you away super super happy about this Season's best atomic refractor, Allen Iverson. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I have so many more cards. I have a couple collections I'm hunting down right now, talking to a few people. Um, so a new collection is definitely imminent in the near future. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can see those videos in the future. Make sure you smash that like button because smashing that like button really, really helps out the channel so more people can enjoy the videos. And leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about these uh, these cards today, especially this one right here. That's, that's pretty sweet. All right, thank you guys for watching again, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.